Japan is awesome. Hey! There's just cute kawaii things everywhere. This is overwhelming. Weighing at 700 kilograms. That's a lot of weight. It literally melts in your mouth. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to our first full day here at Tokyo in Japan. I'm so excited. It's a very hot, warm, humid day. It's about 30 degrees Celsius. And we are starting our day at a local fish market. Apparently it's one of the biggest and most important and famous fish slash food markets here in Tokyo. It's called the Tsukiji Market. I believe Suki meaning moon in Japanese and then Ji I think it's just some kind of temple um, coming from the, the uh, language of Chinese but they use it in Japanese as well so Suki Ji market is well you can see there behind me I can already smell loads and loads of like very very fresh fish food smelling food so if you're into fish or if you don't like fish maybe not the best place to come I'm into all kinds of food and hopefully we might try a couple of things apparently um, there's some wagyu beef here as well that we might be able to get just loads of street foods basically different kinds of foods different kinds of Japanese food but I can tell you the, the, the fish does smell really good even if you don't like fish still come because the fish smells better than your <laughs> average fish does so yeah we're gonna go and have an explore So they're just cooking the Wagyu beef here. It smells delicious, looks amazing, cannot wait to have it. Our tour guide has said it's one of the best Wagyu beef that you can get from the fish market here, the Tsukiji market. So I'm looking forward to trying it. It's a weird time to have you know, meat. It's like nine o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. But what a fun way to start the day. What a great way to you know, <laughs> have breakfast. Wagyu beef, can't wait. As we wait for the beef to be cooked, they've given us a little fan. Look at that. We're number 27 and you can actually fan yourself, which is very needed because it is a hot day here in Tokyo. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, exciting times. Wow. Okay, look at this. I cannot wait to try this. So we've got the Wagyu beef here, looks amazing, smells great, you've got some wasabi on the side and some horseradish sauce apparently and some salt. I'm just going to try it on its own first, that's what I've been recommended, just to kind of get the flavour of the beef itself and then if I want to I can try the rest of the condiments with it. I'm so excited. <laughs> This is not even beef. This is, this, you're right, it melts, it literally melts in your mouth. Oh my god. You sure you don't want to try one? You? Okay, this is so good. I'm excited because I can have the whole thing on my own. I'm going to try some of the horseradish sauce as well. I think I prefer it without the sauce because the beef itself is too good. Too good to ruin it with any kind of sauce. Love it. This Tsukiji fish market, or food market I should say, because they've got all kinds of food, not just fish, is so busy. But apparently it's only 70% full, we've been told, so it can even get busier. The fact that we're able to walk, we should be happy, because normally it's so busy you can't even make your way through the market. But we only had about 45 minutes or so here. I tried the Wagyu beef, I could easily spend longer and try more foods, but we're limited on time. We want to try and see the rest of Tokyo today on our first day as well. We've got a reservation coming up soon. So I think that's going to be it for the market, but I would highly recommend it. That Wagyu beef, I, I'm going to dream about it. I would happily have another one. We 
have come to the Tokyo Sky Tree for the second part of our day here in Tokyo, which is meant to be the world's tallest tower. Crazy, at 634 meters apparently. So, very tall. There was two kinds of options to get tickets for. We decided to go for the combo option, which allows us two viewing spots, one at 350 meters, which is where we're at right now, and then we're gonna go up the elevator to the second part, which I believe is 450 meters. So, before we continue though, look at the view. Look at the view. Our tour guide did say that on some days you might even be able to, oh my God. Guys, it's actually really tall. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time looking down. But we were told that on some days we might even be able to see Mount Fuji. So as, as far as Mount Fuji would be able to see, but perhaps not today. But you can still see quite a lot. Let me show it to you. Look at that. Look how tiny everything is. We are extremely high up. And look how far out you can actually see. I'm spotting a Ferris wheel all the way down there. The sea. I mean, there is a lot going on. There's a couple of bridges over there. Honestly, because it's our first day in Tokyo, we still don't really know much about this city. So a lot of the iconic parts we might not, is that tennis court down there? But yeah, a lot of the iconic parts we might not be able to identify. All I know is that we are very, very high up. So perhaps not the best place to come if you have a fear of heights. I'm okay though. It's just a little bit jarring initially when you come up. They do also have a little photo service here, which you can buy your photo professionally done at 1,500 Japanese yen. And you get to pose with this, I guess, little replica of the tower that we're on. And you can get a little card. The queue for it is extremely long, so we're debating whether or not we want to do it. But yeah, this is what it looks like over here. Just picked up a couple of leaflets with some information about Tokyo Sky Tree so I can read through them later on. But for now, I think let's just enjoy some of the views. We have come to the highest viewing point now which is 450 meters and they've got this very lovely kawaii backdrop which we took our photos with of course if you want to check those out follow me on instagram i have plenty of photos from this japan trip and you can kind of see the view from behind as well they also have another photo spot on this area which we also took but i do love and appreciate japan's love of all things kawaii it's just adorable everywhere you go they have like a cute photo opportunity a cute backdrop and look how high we are now this is meant to be the world's tallest tower and it very much feels it i've been to quite a lot of viewing spots in my life in different cities major cities but this might be one of the tallest i've been to for sure look at that no idea what it is it's a special exhibition fest something so I'm guessing that's why they have this kawaii backdrop going on with these characters. They might be from a special anime, I'm not sure. And they've even decorated some of the windows as well, which makes the viewing experience even more adorable. But my favorite thing about being up here is, of course, the view. It's so cool to see Tokyo from so high above. I mean, Tokyo, of course, is a very, very busy city. And despite that, I feel like the way they've organized it, even from the streets that you see from down here, it's just so well done well presented and very clean as well that's been my experience so far it's a very clean city and how awesome is that there's a couple of staff members here i'm guessing washing and cleaning the windows and even <laughs> even what they're on is cute and just adorable look at that and they're just waving at everyone as they're doing their job this is so adorable i love japan japan is awesome <laughs> hey <laughs> Everything is so cute. Even just the walkways going up 
this building has been adorable. So there you go, this has been our experience of Sky Tree here at Tokyo. So many cute things, I would recommend it if you're into your views, if you like seeing a whole city from a very, very high angle, come and do it. I feel like it was worth it for sure and the fact that there's so many photo opportunities as well makes it more of a memorable thing. We've just found some more gashapans here at the ground floor of the sky tree and these ones are apparently premium gashapans. I'm guessing because they're some famous boy bands from Japan perhaps. Uh, I, I know some K-pop bands but I'm not really familiar with J-pop personally. But there's loads and loads of options here so if you're into your gashapan, which I mean who wouldn't be? I mean look at these ones, so adorable. You'll find them almost ev oh my god look at the cat yeah you find them almost everywhere in tokyo that's been our experience so far anyway we've come to our next destination now which is nakamise apparently japan's number one shopping street this is the entrance it looks gorgeous um we are eventually going to also get to a temple i believe in the same area but just look at the amazingness the beauty of the entrance first so on this side we've got the statue of thunder apparently and then on the other side, it's the god of wind. Okay, so my cousin here is about to try some kind of matcha drink. Go for it. It looks good. It's really good. It's actually, yes, it's not as bitter. It's quite sweet, yeah, uh, actually. That's fine. Oh, nice. This street is full of people. It's very hot in Japan, as I've mentioned probably a couple of times throughout this vlog. Currently 34 degrees Celsius, if you're wondering. But there's so many things to see. And as I mentioned, apparently it's one of the most or the most famous shopping street of Japan. And we just learned as well that Nakimase, Mase apparently does mean store. So that's why the name of this place is called Nakimase. But look at all these people, look at all these little bits and bobs that you can find. It's almost like, it reminds me a little bit of Camden Market in London. That's the closest thing I can, I guess, compare it to. Look at this Pikachu over here, he looks quite confused. And is this meant to be some, oh, it's a bag. It's a plush bag, so adorable. We just found the snack shop. I mean, there are plenty of shops here, but this one here has intrigued me. These are little mochis, and I love how they display the foods here in Japan, so you can kind of see what they're going to get. I think I'm going to get myself one of the coffee ones. So I've got my mochi. I'm going to show it to you in a second. But I also decided to go for one of these. Apparently, these are some sweet potato Japanese sweets. One of them has red beans in it. One of them is some kind of lemony thing. I think I decided to go for the red bean one. I think it's red beans. Anyway, I really have no clue. So. These are the mochis which have a particular kind of name here, a special kind of mochi apparently. I'm going to probably try one of the coffee ones, my aunt and cousin might try the rest. And then that's the um, sweet potato treat that we have. So Sarah got some really pretty mochi. Yeah. I think, I think this is the coffee one, so I'm just going to pick it up. Oh, it's cold. It's cold? Yeah. Look really at the back. Sparkly. Yeah. Should we give it a go? Yes. <laughs> it's the coffee one. How is it? Is this a coffee one? It, does, it doesn't really taste like coffee much. Do you want to try one? But I mean, do you want to try one? Okay. 
Is that strawberry? Yeah, probably, right? What does it taste like to you? Yeah. This doesn't taste like coffee much at all. <laughs> it tastes very strange. I'm not sure if I like it, I'll be honest. What do you think? Mm, I like it. It tastes like strawberry. Mm. This is the next thing we're going to try. It's like some kind of sweet potato thing, I think, with some red beans in it. Do you want to open it? Okay, we're going to split this one, my cousin and I. Let's see how it goes. Firstly, look how cute. Very cute. Have you just noticed there's something yeah, that we need so to put on it? Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Do you want to see what that is? Because no idea. What is it? Sorry? Moisture. For the moisture. Oh, okay. So we, do, we don't need to do anything yeah. with it. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <We> do. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside. We just split it. That's one. That's your side. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, it does. It, it does, does smell really? a little bit of. I, no. We have no idea what we're eating, but we're gonna give them it's a go anyway. Like cake, but not like red bean. You're right. It does smell a bit like cake. It definitely doesn't taste like cake. Mm -hmm. To me, it does. To me, it's, I don't taste the red bean that that much. You. It tastes like cake that's not very sweet. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I'm a bit confused because the, the, the texture is very much cake like. Mm -hmm. The inside is obviously um, red beans. You can't really taste the red beans, as my cousin said, mm -hmm. but you can taste something that's not quite sweet but quite nice. Mm -hmm. We're just given a couple of samples of these to try. Apparently they're some kind of rice crisps, rice biscuits. My cousin already tried hers and she said it was quite nice, so... I like them. I really like it actually, it's quite salty. A bit like crisp flavour but not quite as salty as a crisp. You can taste the rice for sure. In fact, I feel like it's something that I might have even had before, so it's not like a very unfamiliar taste. We're about to have our first vending machine experience here in Japan and it's going to be something very boring, heavy on water. <laughs> it's 150, not yen, yes? we, don't really, we don't really know but these are the coins we're going to be using, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to just put them here and then we're going to press which one we want, this one. It's very quick as well, it comes very quickly, yeah. I love that. It's so nice and cold and it's got Snoopy on it. It's adorable. My favourite thing is the fact that it's Evian water and Evian water is my favourite water. I'm weird, I have a favourite bottled water. We are finally slowly but surely reaching Sensoji, which is the temple that you can see there behind me. Apparently it's Tokyo's oldest temple, it's a Buddhist temple and it's meant to be also one of the most colourful ones so I'm looking forward to checking it out. It is so hot today in Tokyo that they've put this mist thing here. My aunt is having a lovely time just chilling by it because it is... How hot has it been? A lot, I think 35 degrees. Yeah, definitely the hottest it's been so far. Probably the hottest I've been in a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> you found something interesting about the, the temple so far, didn't you? Yeah, it's really interesting. There are many descriptions on the walls. Yeah, one of them said what? Uh, that these yeah. symbols yeah. are called Omarachi. Okay. Yeah, they are supposed to be like against evil. Okay. Apparently this area here is a fortune telling thing. So that's why it's quite popular, loads of people are trying to find out their fortunes and this is all right next to the entrance of the shrine over here which i'm still so amazed by it's so beautiful
Apparently that lantern there above me, hopefully you can see it, is meant to be the biggest in Tokyo, weighing at 700 kilograms. That's a lot of weight in one lantern. But we're going to go ahead and head inside. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to film. But seeing as we're going inside the temple, a place of worship for many people, I don't feel my best actually filming. So I'll see what I can get. Otherwise, I'll tell you all about it when I come out. A few minutes later. So I'm out of the temple now. And that was actually a very powerful experience. Like. I'm not a Buddhist or anything, but I do enjoy going to religious, spiritual places. There's something about them. Different beliefs as well. It doesn't matter what kind of belief, as long as it's a good belief. You know, one that says good things about the world and, you know, wants or encourages you as humans to be a better person. And I feel like Buddhism has a lot of good things uh, about it. And, you know, once I step inside, I almost didn't want to film. Like, I didn't film, even though there were some people that were taking photos still, those of tourists around and it wasn't, you know, that you couldn't film. I just decided not to because there's something, I know it's very weird, <laughs> but believe me, something just took over me and I spent a few minutes in front of the temple actually praying. I don't know if I did it right or not because like I said, I'm not Buddhist, but I kind of just tried to do what most people were doing and try to do some kind of prayer to, I think it's called the canon, um, is the person of this particular shrine, I'm not sure. But it was beautiful, it was beautiful and it's so cool to see kind of the history of it because at the end of the day everything looks gorgeous and the temples look amazing even from the outside and it's an amazing touristy place for people to come and see but the actual, I guess, core of it is what it has been for many years which is a, a place of worship and I really enjoyed spending a few minutes in there. We're now about to approach the final part of the tour for today, which is the Matsumoto Castle. Apparently it was built in the 16th century and it's meant to be the oldest surviving castle here in Tokyo and in Japan as well. Do you have any facts about Matsumoto Castle? Uh, apparently the emperor still lives there. Wow! Um, so they're still, they're still living inside this yeah. amazing grand That's castle? What That's what the tour guide told us. <laughs> we believe it as fact and hope that is true. <laughs> and turn the camera. Woo! It's just there, yeah, isn't it? And it's really huge apparently. It goes still over there. Yeah, like the grounds around the mm. castle. You're right. It looks beautiful. Time later, I'm here with my cousin. It's currently about 20 minutes past 8 p.m. 21. <laughs> 21 minutes, and we found out something a while ago. We haven't eaten much today. What have we had? We kind of we did a list of everything that we had eaten. So, what have you had today? Um, well, me and my mom had some very small breakfast. Okay. Like chocolate milk and sesame pudding. That's hardly anything. Yeah. That was it. And you had even less. Had well, I had, the, I had the Wagyu beef, that was my and first meal of the day, the and I had a coffee, yeah. I had a coffee of Wagyu beef, then me and you <laughs> had one mochi each, literally yeah. one, we also <laughs> split one of those sweet potato beans things, red you saw it, bean, red bean yeah. thing, you saw it on camera, it was mm. small, we only had half of it each, and I think that's it, no? Yeah. Do you have anything else? I had a matcha drink that was a drink yeah. yeah in terms of eating things because I think when we're in a city where there's so many amazing <laughs> snacks and we we want to try them I don't know we just had a very full-on day and I, yeah we're walking so much yeah we're walking a lot it was also really hot so exactly yeah. we didn't really feel hungry you're right we didn't feel hungry throughout the day but now that it's like 8 
20 something 3 p.m. now we both realized oh like food might be something that we should probably do before we sleep so here we are we're gonna go and grab something to eat there's a place called Coco Curries which I've been to before in London but it's a Japanese chain they do different kinds of curries and apparently it's, it's great I mean the one in London is amazing I'm presuming the one here will be even I've better never been. I'm excited. yeah I'm excited for you to try it I'm excited <laughs> to try it here in Japan like authentically my friend Marie has been to Japan a couple of times before and she said great things about mm. it I'm so hungry at this point that I will eat anything. Just be lucky that I can't eat you. <laughs> this is a place, Curry House Coco. Says good smell, good curry. And you can see some of the options here. Um, scrambled egg curry with ham cutlets, seafood curry. We've got pork cutlet curry. The regular one is would just be like a chicken katsu curry, which is probably one of my favorite things to get here. They have sausage curry down there, lightly crisped um, chicken curry. That sounds good as well. And then a vegetable curry as well. So looks to be oh there's more actually I thought that was gonna be the only option but no there's even more stuff here yeah look at that so there's plenty plenty of options here there's a lot honestly I'm so excited about this and you can also choose how spicy you want it to be as well um, and apparently in Japan look basically oh they do beef curry even they do sweet chicken curry stewed chicken curry chicken there's just a lot of options and then these might be the sides I feel like there's more options here than they have in London for sure actually They've clearly run out of this one, pork curry with soy meat uh, burger, which is absolutely fine. The squid curry. <laughs> but basically what it is is that you get to choose what you want with your curry. You choose what spice level you want as well. And then you eat it with whatever meat or vegetables you want your curry to be with. So there you go. Look how happy this guy looks. I'm guessing we're going to look like him later on. So we've got our seats here and apparently we get to order here ourselves oh thank you for changing your language to english it's going to be very helpful <laughs> um yeah basically all the options that we saw prices are also so much better here and cheaper than they are in london which makes sense so there you go the ghee curry i'm not sure maybe oh this one sold out as well there's a couple of ones that have sold out actually darling so i hope the one you wanted is going to be around so my cousin's just doing hers you can choose your rice portion and then your spice level as well and one interesting thing don't worry i'm not going to make you a spicy but i'm just going to show them because this one goes so far back i'm going to put yours as look, look oh my god look how and, and and in london that's crazy in london it only has like maybe three levels of spice <laughs> you're just going to go regular spice yes yeah, that sounds good i do think it's hilarious that they just don't think that people in the uk can handle spice which is understandable because it's not something that people are used to if i wasn't here on holiday and for instance if this was happening at, you know at my hometown i would try the highest um level of spice but i just don't think it's something wise to do here oh nice what do you think you're gonna do get us a drink or a what's that oolong tea that's like, you can get two drinks if you want so we just ordered both of our curries you went for the beef vegetable and chicken one i believe right chicken mm -hmm. i went for just chicken um i went for level three spice you went for regular spice but that was still, i don't know i don't know what that means um we also got a couple of sides and we got a drink each so we'll see how it is we're feeling very japanese <laughs> Because honestly, everyone around us is Japanese, so my, my cousin is like, don't say it. But no, it, basically, it's a, it's a local chain that actual Japanese people enjoy, so it's good. It's, uh, it's good food, it's food that is authentic to... I'm so glad. No, it's... At most places, it seems like. Yeah. At the other places, very fast. True, yesterday, check out yesterday's vlog. It does make life easier because especially with the language barrier I we don't really have an to don't want <laughs> and my my cousin being an introvert <laughs> a very cute and confident introvert oh, oh, arigato. so we've got our drinks you went for a lemon lassi i've got a fresh orange juice is it good mm -hmm. my orange juice is nice as well we have our first portion here which is just one of the sides that has arrived first and it's just some fries. We thought we might as well because we haven't eaten much. Oh, there's more coming already. Arigato. Uh, my I love shaking this. I love your <laughs> Shaking like a maracas. No, yeah, that's, that's what it's saying somehow. Let's see what it is. Wow, okay. <laughs> Did I order this? Is this like a chicken thing that I ordered? Interesting. Okay, well. We're definitely going to have to share this with the fries and then we'll have our mains coming soon. So Fatima's food has arrived. That's the chicken, beef and uh, vegetable curry. This is mine. Uh, I went for the chicken one. I forgot that I also 
ask them to add a couple of shrimps and they look delicious tempura shrimp the sauce i can already smell it it's so so good i'm still eating some of my chicken as well which was delicious so we may have waited until nearly well you can see here 20 47 almost 9 pm to eat food proper food but at least we're eating delicious food i'm just about to have my first taste of the curry I went for level three spice so i'm curious because my cousin had the regular one and she said it's quite spicy still mm -hmm. like she's it's my personal limit yeah she said it's her personal <laughs> limit um so we'll see how mine is i'm a little bit worried but yeah it's quite spicy mm -hmm. and it's interesting that that mine is only a level three whoa it's got a bit of an aftertaste. You saw how many there were. Like, we have to look later to see. I think it was something like at least eleven or at least ten. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh my god, we're gonna have to double check, because mine, with it being just level three, it's <laughs> definitely spicier than the ones that I've had in London. So, they treat spice differently in Japan. Makes sense. It's still delicious. I'm happy that I'm trying it. But just beware if you ever come to Japan and if you've been to Coco Curry's, the spices are, you know, overestimate the spices basically. So we've just finished our meals. Delicious, by the way. Both absolutely enjoy them. I thought I would show you the bill. Obviously, I know it's all in Japanese, but you can see the price here at the end. 3,390 Japanese yen. I just converted that to British pounds, and that equals to 18 pounds 47. That is so cheap compared to what you can get for that amount of money in London or in the UK, right? Even Same in Austria. In, in Austria, right? Mm -hmm. Because this would be around 20 euros yeah, if you're the euro like person. For, one person probably, yeah. for, for, for two of us, we got sides, we had drinks. Mm. And, the, and the quality of the food was, we were both like full, it like a big portion, it was a big like portion. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Macy were do, are doing it right. It's like food is great, it's delicious, and the prices are great. No wonder people are living the healthiest and happiest lives here in Japan. Coco Curry? Your so thoughts? <laughs> this was really good. Yeah, I'm glad you. I'm glad my cousin loved it because I'm a big fan. It's definitely better here in Japan than it is in London. So I'm glad I tried it as well. And look at all the options that we could have gotten. But we were both very happy with what we got. Except mine was a little bit too spicy. <laughs> level. Oh my god. How many levels? levels we found out. In levels. There's 15 levels. One five. I got level three and that was too spicy i mean i i still enjoyed it but it was what i would describe level three i would say it's like the hottest that you can get in nando's in the uk really? yeah and yet it was level three <laughs> times five is the highest you can get would you ever try that Potter? never no maybe, maybe just a little bit like yeah just one that's the thing very small <laughs> I'm really curious though. That's it, I'm so curious. I really how could anything be that? How could anybody enjoy that? Let me know in the comments uh, down I below. I really can't imagine. I'm sure people do enjoy yeah. that, but for I couldn't. <laughs> no, I don't think I can either. Because, like I said, for me, my limit was what I had, which is level three. For me, my limit was what I had. Your regular. regular. Yeah. It wasn't even level one. It yeah. was the one before. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> the Lord of all the mercy. Anyway, we're going to go and explore life a little bit. I don't think I'm going to film much. There'll be a little montage coming on, and I'll see you when I'm back at the hotel, probably. We're just walking through Tokyo and we found this little claw machine situation. These babies down there are rather creepy, let's be real. They do some Pokemon cards here as well. I'm very bad with claw machine games though. We've got some very happy pigs uh, wearing red bow ties, loving life. Definitely something I know everybody would want. Some octopi over here. These are actually quite cute. Oh my god, look! 
Look at the screen they've got going on as well. Everyone's just so happy and dancing. And then this section here, guys, Lord have all the mercy. Basically, you can get a variety of different insects um, by chance. You can see there's um, some flies there, some, I don't know, beetles and whatnot. I have no idea. Is that a tarantula? There's an ant? I don't really know. But you can get worms basically timon and pumba let's be real they'd love it here we're not gonna do it but we just saw a bunch of kids come and try one and they literally filmed there for something like tiktok or something it didn't look very excited basically these are bugs that you can eat by the way i forgot to mention you're not just buying bugs and not doing anything with them you're meant to eat them but like i said i'm not a very picky eater but i think i do draw the line when it comes to bugs like this it is currently so hot in japan that you can even win fans like that's literally one of the fun things that apparently you can win and it does say here new as well we could probably do with a fan we actually already do have one though we just forgot to bring it out with us today but there you go for a fan you're going to be paying uh well to win one anyway for a chance to win it 100 japanese yen and the machines the claw machines are really fun as well they're, they're way cuter than the regular ones that we used to they're not just regular claw machines they're like little mini robots and they're decorated as well so cute This Gashapen claw machine area is on another level. I mean, look at that. There's just cute kawaii things everywhere. This is overwhelming, but in a good way. There are just so many of these machines everywhere. They're playing some kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. Very upbeat, dreamlike music that just is it's otherworldly. Let's put it that way. Hopefully you can hear some of it anyway in the background, but there's just there's too much going on. And there's so many of these machines, like, it's a whole area dedicated to these little games. Japan, man. Look at all these Gashapon options here. There are so many. There's also a little uh, drum machine going on there. That's the background noise you're hearing. But, I mean, there's just so many. It's overwhelming. You don't even know which one to go for. I have spotted a Disney one, though. And so knowing me, I'm probably going to try one of these because Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy all look adorable. But as you can see, they have so many other options. I've got my 400 yen here. We're gonna yes, give yeah. it a go. Yeah, my first time doing one of these. My cousin did it yesterday. She got something really cute, like a banana monkey. Is that it? Yeah. More. Yeah. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's the box. Let's open it. There you go. Who, which character do you think it's gonna be? Which character do I want? There wasn't any Goofies here, so who knows? It'll be nice to get Mickey or Minnie, you know, one of the main mice. We're gonna open this up and see who's in. Who do you think? Mickey. Oh, you saw it, didn't you? <laughs> you, got, oh, you clearly saw it, but yay, we got Mickey, the main guy. That's cute. My first ever, what is it again? Go shopping. Yeah. Very cute. And it gets a little stand as well. So there's Mickey. Sorry, I'll pick that up in a second. But there's Mickey himself. And then I think you can just kind of put him there to display. That's cute. I'm, I'm glad I did it. What a fun activity. Yay, my cousin approves. <laughs> What's the time, darling? A near 11. I Let's think, have a look. Right? Yeah, 10 minutes to 11 p.m. We definitely spent longer than we thought outside, but we enjoyed going around uh, Shijuku mm -hmm. and exploring more of it. Very, very hot still. We came back to a hotel. We're currently in the lobby. As soon as we stepped in, we were, we were both like, oh my God, so it still really is hot and humid outside. And it is, it's like it's 28 really degrees. I think the humidity is it makes the it so much thing, worse. Yeah, because yeah, when you come in, there's definitely some air con, not like too heavy, but some air con. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, end the vlog here because my aunt upstairs is currently asleep. Did you have a good day? We did a lot today, didn't we? Yes, it was a really great day. Do you have so a highlight? I mean, I don't because we did so much. I can't <laughs> yes, think of a highlight. Neither. We did too many things. You did spot my aunt, sorry, my cousin yeah. here on the way back to the hotel. We were just, we were just walking back. She spotted a couple of things two. that have made me unhappy. Go on, what did you see? Two cockroaches, uh, two different types. Two cockroaches. Yes. The first time she said, oh my God, cockroach, I <laughs> more or less screamed. Didn't mean to, but I genuinely thought it was, she saw it. I didn't know where she'd seen it, so I did panic she said it was quite far the first yeah. one uh, later the second one was quite near 
<laughs> which is what we it's hope coming out of the sewer yeah so maybe avoid those things yeah we knew that they did exist here in japan but second night here when we my cousin them spotted so them well. no i didn't see them i'm glad i didn't because i feel like if i saw them I'd just be panicking all the time. But they were not as bad as the ones I remember in Iran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Iranian cockroaches are terrifying, <laughs> disgusting. So I guess I didn't see the cockroaches tonight. My, my, my cousin said they seemed a bit more polite and yeah, nice looking. Yeah, they're really polite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, yeah. <laughs> that is it for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure polite you subscribe Yeah, for more videos like this. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to. There'll be plenty more vlogs coming, hopefully. Mm. And thank you to my cousin, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.